About 70% of the global population are under 30 and 42% are under age 15. The size and usefulness of the population offer great potential to expand Nigeria's capacity as a regional economic hub of Africa and the world. A young, large population could be an economic asset because population growth and urbanization go together and economic development is closely correlated with urbanization. True to this, young Nigerians are making waves in their various field of endeavors. The latest is Toby Amusa, who ruled the world in Hodo's race. A professional in the engineering industry who is also an elder statesman, Mr. Adewumi said, going by numerous achievements of Nigerian youths across the world, he is confident that the youths can make things work in an enabling environment. The youths are full with enthusiasm, with vigor, with knowledge better than my own. The knowledge is with the youth and they can twist it, they can do everything. Go and look at the last Commonwealth now. See. Do you see any elderly man winning any, any trophy, any, any, any gold? Not at all. It is you youth that are winning it. Some of the youth, however, fought the leadership style in Nigeria as discouraging to the younger generation. The youth has been marginalized. When you see, check it, in football, throughout the number of people that went to the Commonwealth program, a game now, sport now, to get gold for Nigeria, are they not the youth? They are the youth. Go to debates, they are the youth. The entertainment industry, they are the youth. Academic industry, they are the youth. The army, they are the youth. Mention it. But when it comes to leadership, you said it's not time for the youth. To be in, uh, to partake more in politics, the hold need to create space for them. And uh, this is a kind of a collaboration and solidarity among all generations. Going by this year's theme, intergenerational solidarity, creating a world for all ages, the youth said, it is high time people of all ages, young and old, join forces to build a better world for all. In Nigeria, the youth are, are, are coming on board. It's no more business as usual anymore. If you look, going by the last um, PVC registration, it shows that 71% of the current voters are youth within the age of 18 to 30. In 2009, 20, 2019, it was 51%, now it's 71%. It shows that the youth are now waking up to their responsibility in determining their future. So it's a wake-up call. It's, it's also a good one. They therefore agreed to collaborate to foster successful and equitable intergenerational relations and partnerships for better tomorrow. Omori Olahungiji, OSRC News.